Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter in Chicago Business Today, Midway Airport. Earlier this week, we learned that more flights continue to leave Midway Airport late than any other major airport in the nation. Just 71.3% of flights took off on time for the first eight months of this year. The worst showing was in May, June, and July when storms bared down on Chicago's south side and the peak summer travel season was in full swing. Southwest performance was reflected in the challenges at its biggest hub, with the airline ranking 7th in August among carriers with 83.2% of flights on time. I sat down with Joe Schwederman, director of DePaul University's Chaddock Institute for Metropolitan Development, to talk more about Midway's future. Midway's takeoff delays are the worst. What's the main reason for this? We see Southwest, you know, didn't cut flights after 9-11. They just held the course and now are growing again. And boy, some of the other airlines are edging for space at Midway as well. And the airport just isn't designed to handle a lot more than it can, that can realistically support. The runways cross, it's sort of a fixed runway length issue. So when things go bad at Midway, they can go pretty bad pretty quick. Southwest has branched out and now those types of flights are coming through Chicago as they move east or move west. And is that contributing to the delays at all? Well, no question. I mean, Southwest has been quietly adding markets. And when they go on a market, they don't add two or three flights. They come in with five or six a day. And that's just a big hub now. And we have three big hubs in Chicago, American United at O'Hare, and of course, Southwest at Midway. And uh, that's just putting pressure on that airport. And of course, these flights are going out full too. So that airport's uh, splitting from the seams. While we're on the subject of Southwest, the recent deal for them to buy AirTran, are business travelers going to bear the brunt of any fare increases? After all, they don't have as much flexibility as leisure travelers. And now that another low fare carrier is gone, what's that going to mean for the business traveler? I think it's the business traveler, you're right, that feels the effects of this the most. Because Southwest, you know, has cheap fares, but they're really uh, oriented for people to plan ahead. But AirTran had really cheap walk-up fares, and business travelers just love that. Okay, so Southwest has this growing dominance now at Midway. What will that mean going forward for any privatization effort? Where do you see the future going with that? Well, don't forget that Southwest has played ball with the city. There's been years of negotiation. There's the 65% rule that 65% of the carriers effectively have to approve. And Southwest is so big that they alone can kind of call the shots now on privatization. And, they, and their big thing is as long as landing fees stay in the range we're comfortable with, we're not going to fight this. And the mayor's been able to give them that. So, so far, they're not the problem. It's really been the capital markets that are pretty jittish about you know, airport investments right now. Can Midway still continue to sell itself as a very convenient airport? Yeah, well, Midway is almost the perfect package for privatization. We're not even debating expanding runways. When you throw that into the mix, people get nervous because you're going to have a private operator affecting long-term policy. We're not going to do that with Midway. It's kind of a recession-proof airport. It's a fixed footprint, and it's not our main airport. So the stakes are a little bit lower if something would go wrong. I think it's a great idea that needs to move ahead. But boy, there's some political turbulence with parking meters and others that give people pause. Is there anything that Midway can do to improve its performance for on-time takeoffs? Yeah, there is. And let's hope it doesn't come down to O'Hare-type cap on flights because that's a mess for everybody. But Southwest is moving toward larger planes. And with AirTran, they're getting some bigger planes. So right there, you can cut departures 5 or 10% by adding seats. And Southwest seems to be doing that now. And of course, there's also just simple air traffic control things. We need some help from the FAA there. Okay, Joe, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.